Hello, hello. For those of you that are just tuning in, um, this is Lee Moore Weber, and tonight I'm going to be doing a show uh, using the fabulous jelly plates and a little bit of Lindy Stamping and some fabulous Americana paints, um, some awesome different plates, which I'll show you in a moment. Lots of things you can get um, at the Flying Unicorn. Uh, let me see here. So let's get started. I'm going to switch cameras. I'm feeling better. Yes, thanks you guys. Um so let's uh let's switch cameras here. Give me a second. There we go. Can you guys see the um can you guys see this okay? I'm going to lift it up just a tiny bit. Whoops. You don't need to see my Oh, hang on. Sorry about that for those of you that are watching the recording. Okay, can everybody see me okay? Is this all right? Somewhat, to some extent. I know it's not perfect, but you know, close enough. There we go. Is that better? Yay, flying unicorn. So, um, so here's a couple things, you guys, for tonight, um, if you want to know. Tonight, um, until Saturday, uh, because you're watching the show tonight, the show is sponsored by the oh-so-fabulous flying unicorn. And um, I do like their product education for Flying Unicorn, which is why I um, they sponsor my shows, and they're absolutely amazing. Alda and the gang are just superb. Like honestly, the best flipping customer service you'll ever see. Um, and uh, tonight until Saturday, you get uh, 20 20 percent off the store, and the code is Lee Moore. Okay, so everybody that's watching the show after the fact, please go ahead and, um, yeah, and do that. My nails are absolutely disgusting. Um, I've cut them off, as you can tell. I have no more gels. They're super duper short, and they're mixed media nails at the moment. I, I'm not even getting too close to them because they're awful. Um, so, yeah, shopping time for sure. Um, one of the things, so let's get started, okay, and then I'll show you some of the um, things that we'll use tonight, and, uh, oh, very exciting news, Elda, um, has my, uh, industrial chic set available at her store, so if you want to get it, you can, um, which is awesome, 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 so one of the things that I'm going to be using tonight is, of course, we're going to, um, play with the art journal, and this is the art journal that I, one of the many art journals I use, this one is Stillman and Brent, Ber Stillman and Burn. It's a sketchbook. It's a heavyweight paper. It's about 100 pounds to 150 GSM, it says. So it's nice and heavy. Um, but what I wanted to show you is the jelly plate. For those of you that don't know what the jelly plate is, is it's this fabulous, it's called a jelly printing uh, gel plate. Hang on a second. There's a glare there. Is that a little bit better? A tiny bit? Is that a little bit better? Um, and so it's a, it's a really fabulous um, um, gel. It's like this plate, and I'll show you. It's really awesome. And we'll play with it so you'll, you'll see exactly what it is. Um, but it's like this gel-like plate, okay? And it creates really fun, fun impressions on your pages. So you'll be able to use this on your layout. You can use this um, on anything, really. Um, so we're going to create our journal pages tonight because I think it'll be super fun. And so we'll create a whole bunch of them just because they're really fun and easy to create. But what we'll create with, and you can find this at the Flying Unicorn, which you might fall in love with. These are, they're called um, curves. And it's actually supposed to be for fabric art. But we're going to use them tonight. And I don't know if you can see, can you see all those like funky design patterns on there? So they're really great for the uh, gel printing plates. So we'll use those, and you can see they're like really fun, thin little plates, but they have fabulous texture. So look at this one. So much fun. I'm so excited. So we'll definitely be using these guys tonight. Look at these, right? Really, really fun, and we'll use them on the, on the jelly plate. So you can use anything you want. And I know Alda has like the studio paints at the store. These studio paints work really, really great. Um, so you can find all the colors which I'll be using, as well as the Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals, okay? So let's get started, shall we, my people? Can everybody see okay? 
everybody can see all right all right so let's get started so one of the things that you're going to need that i always like to do first of all when you take out your jelly uh plate i always leave this guy because what i find is that you get kind of less air bubbles and i always do like to have a craft mat okay on hand so the next thing that i like to do is i'm going to show you several different techniques okay but what the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need um a, like a, a rolling thing what, what are these called it's called speed ball what are these called anyhow and then the other thing that you want to always have on hand is i always have um what i call like my excess sheet of paper where i'm going to roll off some of my uh dirty uh like the the dirty part from my roller okay so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to start by applying some colors. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is hurting. So I'm actually going to start this color I haven't even opened, and it's called Sea Aqua. Are you guys shocked? Look what color I'm starting with. It's a teal. I know. It's very shocking, isn't it? I wonder what's my, what my favorite color is. Hmm, I don't know. But I'm going to start with, this is Americana paint. Okay. Brayer. It's a brayer. Geez, I'm sorry. I can barely think straight. This is this is what happens to Lee more when she has no sleep. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by applying just a little bit here and there. Okay, you don't need too much, you guys. I probably even put too much right there. And then I'm going to grab a, a different one, which is called Bahama Blue. Okay, that, that is like way too much. And let's start with that. Okay, so we'll do those two teals. Actually, no, one more. Let's do one more for fun. Let's do pink. This one is peony pink. I know. Who would have thought, right? I know. It's like, who likes teal? Hang on a second, you guys. I smell burning, and I just want to make sure. Sorry. Maybe it's from upstairs. Maybe it's my husband. Let's just pray that that's what it is. I'm not sure where that burning is coming from. Sorry about that. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to just start rolling. Look how beautiful that is. Oh. And I know the screen doesn't show it um, as bright as it is, but it's so bright and yummy. And I don't want the pink to be uh, super prominent. I kind of want it to be kind of died down like that. Okay. So before, what I want to do is um, I don't quite want to do... Um, too many impressions I want a little bit so I kind of want it just like that okay and I'm just gonna lift it up so you guys can see a little bit better but one of the things that I like to do is I have this excess sheet and I just roll off okay and you can totally use this after all right but I just want to show you up close a little bit how fun this is all right okay really really fun now the next thing that I'm gonna grab is my these fa whoops these fabulous little um, plates okay and which one i really like this one i think this one is super duper fun and one of the sides has more of a raised impression than the other one the other one it's almost like a mold like so i'm going to use the one that kind of has the raised impression and i'm going to apply it just like so okay on my printing plate and i'm going to lift Ooh, check that out oh my gosh gorgeousness I'm going to do that right here, okay. there, a little bit right there, and a little bit right there. I'm not being perfect. You don't need to be perfect. Oh my God, I'm in love with this. Um, and then what I'm going to do, this is really easy, and usually it's easier on an actual piece of paper, but I, I really want it on my art journal, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my art journal. And I'm actually going to apply it right on to the page, okay? And usually what I like to do is I even like to take my roller and really get it in there. But what's easier to do usually is there's a page there, so maybe I'm going to put something over top of this so that it doesn't get ruined. But I roll it like right on there so that it really gets that fabulous impression, okay? just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lift and I want to show you the fabulousness that just came out can you guys see that is that not the coolest thing ever now do you see all this wonderful stuff right here let me show you how much more wonderful that second piece is 
So what you want to do is you want to take the same, the opposite page, and you want to do the exact same thing, okay? And you just like really want to get in there. You want to take your brayer, wherever it went to, or your hand, right? And really like press beautifully on there, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift and hang on. Watch this, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I absolutely love my, my favorite impression is always the second, the second one. I just, I don't know. There's something about it that I just absolutely adore about it. And so <clears throat> then what I want to do is I have so much excess paint on here and I think it's super cool. I'm actually going to go ahead and, um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use it on this page. Maybe I will. Let's do it. Let's put it right in the middle. Let's see how it turns out. This is like, this is what's so fun about um, the jelly plates is that you can just continue to play and to play and to play. And if you don't like it, add something to it, right? Add a different color to it. And you'll just have so much fun. We can create like six pages tonight. It'll be just super duper fun with all these little impressions. And I'm just actually going to take my roller and really get in there because I don't know how dried the paint is. So I just want to make sure I'm really in there. Ooh, super cool. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Can you guys see that? That is so cool. And it's so subtle, right? Which is, that's all you really want. If you really wanted to um, reactivate the paint, all you would really need to do, I, I guess, is if you just moved your thing out of the way, you could just spray a little bit of water and it would probably reactivate the paint depending on how dry it is. And we can try it out on a different page just for fun, right? So we'll take our art journal and just for fun, let's see, let's check it out. You may just need to clean it up with a baby wipe, but it's never good to waste beautiful paint, right? So lift and let's see. Oh my gosh. Hello, you guys. How gorgeous is that? And it turned out so watercolory. <gasps> gorgeous. You guys need this. You guys so need these. I'm telling you. Now I'm addicted. I'm going to do a second imprint if I can. Because this is just too much fun. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Gorgeousness. I really love this um, pattern in particular. This is probably my favorite pattern or the, out of the whole pack. Um, Tim Holtz's distress paints don't work really well on the jelly print because uh, they bead too much. They're too watery. Just so you know. Okay, and then oops, we're gonna do one more. Oh my gosh, like they just it just keeps on coming out. Is that not amazing, you guys? Okay, just like that. Okay, fabulous. So now I don't feel like I'm wasting paint, but I can, you know, I can work on this a little bit later. But let's go ahead and give this a quick heat set so that I can go ahead and close my page. Any questions, you guys? I sound like a chipmunk. Why do I sound like a chipmunk? Is it, um, sometimes it happens with the U stream a little bit. We have lots of people on tonight. Holy moly. Okay, just like that. So that's this is what we kind of have so far, right? But we can go ahead and kind of continue our art journaling adventure, okay? And so now this is actually super dry. Like it dries really, really quickly. And that's something that you'll really like about playing with your jelly plates, which I really particularly love. So let's create a really fun journal page. The next thing that I'd like to do is I'm going to grab a couple different stencils. Okay, and I'm just grabbing them. Hang on, hang on. I'm right here. So I'm going to use several different stencils. This one's just like a cut up stencil from cardstock. It says "Find a reason to smile." So we'll do that at the end. But these ones I love. They're they're fairly new, and um, this one is TCW four o five four feathers. That's what it's called. Look how gorgeous that is, right? So we'll really play with those. And um, these are so fun. They're like super mixed media textures, yumminess, right? 
and this one is TCW384 well-rounded okay and so I'm gonna pull this one out first okay because I think it'll be super duper fun and what's so funny about this stencil is I already do these kind of textures already on my pages but that's okay um, we'll do them anyway um, like the coffee stain I do that with my tea you know what I mean like it doesn't really matter but it's all good it's all good so what I'd like to do is I'd like to take um, several colors I don't even know what color I want to use I was thinking of a blue um, this is too much of a dark blue where is my lighter blue I can't even find it there's kind of one oh here it is I found it do I really want this blue no I don't how about orange yep orange sounds fabulous so I'm actually going to use Claudine Helmuth Studio um, Altered Orange. I love orange. Ooh, look at that yumminess. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. And I'm just going to take um, a foam brush because I think it's really easy. And then I'm going to go ahead and this is really, really buttery, which is really fun. And I really like to use um, this pattern right here. So I'm just going to go ahead. You don't want you don't want something super runny or it's going to bleed underneath your stencil. So just something to watch. Whenever you're uh, using stencils, don't overload your brushes, you guys. Start with little, okay? You don't need to go crazy, okay? You go crazy and then it starts to bleed underneath and then you guys go all nutty because, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't look good, right? So take it easy. Take it easy on your stencils okay check that out okay really fun little texture here and there don't worry we'll we'll create a lot more uh, texture throughout but first we're starting with layers it's all about the layering right you guys you guys know that with me always layers this is like you know what today feels like doing an art journal page and I love this because I've been missing mixed media Fridays so much due to my insane schedule um, this kind of feels like I'm doing Mixed Media Fridays with you guys because I get to play in an art journal and uh, show you some fun little techniques. I don't, one of the things I don't usually do with, by the way, with a stencil is I don't usually brush this way because I find sometimes it gets underneath. I always um, apply like this from the top, okay, just so you know. Okay, and the left, look how fun that is. Oh, I love it so much fun and we're gonna do we kind of want to have a little bit of a you know uh, what do you call it uh, not unison but I wanted to to kind of coordinate a little bit right balance I wanted to balance so I'm just applying a little bit more on here balance is a little bit important okay, when you're creating just like that look how much it pops on that wonderful oh it's so pretty and then we're just going to do maybe a tiny bit right there, okay? Just like that. Okay, fabulous. Love that. Love, 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 love. Love, love, love. We need a little bit of yellow now. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in my water because I have a million foam brushes. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch. And before I do that, I'm actually going to clean this up. You guys know I'm not usually the biggest cleaner of my stencils right away, but you know what? I just want to do that because I think it'll be easier for us to create. Ooh, look how fun that is when I did that. That's kind of fun. Leaves a really fun impression. I love it. I love it. Ah, I love it. Oh boy. Look at that. That is awesomeness. Okay. Okay. The next thing that I'd like to do is I'm going to take some of my more solid patterns um, and use those and then some of these as well. So let's do this guy right here. Okay, so this one I want to do maybe in a little bit of yellow. So I'll take a little bit of this yellow. There's going to be a couple different yellows. And this one I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit on my mat right here. Okay. And then take my little stencil or my foam brush. And this one you got to be really careful because it'll lift up quite a bit. I really, really love this particular stencil. It's really, really cool. And the paint is um, really yummy. Really, really yummy. Just like that. Okay. 
I'm not even going to do the whole thing. I just kind of want it to be very sporadic and really, really funky. Can you guys see that? Really cool, right? And then we're going to do one right there. Because this, um, oh shoot, did I put my whole thing on there? Nope. There we go. Any questions, anybody? I, you know what? Stencils are like the best investment ever. I don't know what I would do without my stencils, quite honestly. I just love them. Okay. Okay. And I know I usually say don't do that, but I'm doing it. Okay. Ooh, so funky. Funky monkey. Loving it. And I'm actually going to do one right beside it, which is not usually something I do, but. I'm going to do it tonight because it's fun because I think I really loved this stencil. Okay. okay, just like that. Love it. Okay, cool. Super duper. So much fun. So much fun. Okay. Now, um, let's see. I'm just trying to look at the chat just to make sure you guys don't need anything. And um, I think I kind of want to do a little bit of these uh, fun little circles. So let's do that. Um, and I'm thinking I want to do them hmm, maybe in like, I want to do them in green. But I want something a little bit of a darker green. Hmm. What shall we use? A darker green, darker green. You know what we could use? We could also use the fabulous uh, Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft. Um, what are these called? The Artist Pip Pens, okay? Or Stamper's Big Brush Pens, right? These are really fun to use as well. This one in particular is Permanent Green Olive. I mean, you can use really any mediums on these just be careful with the tips that they don't um, that, that they don't snag on your stencil so that it doesn't ruin it. But look how fun that is, right? I love that. So much fun. So much fun. And I don't want to get a perfect circle because I'm not about perfection at the moment. I'm just about a little bit of fun. Okay, just like that. Fabulousness. Fabulous. And we'll do one more down here. But we're just going to almost do like a half circle. Perfect. Look at that. Awesome. Right? So we're doing in threes so that it's not like totally perfect. And then I kind of really like these, these rough ones are really, really fun. So I thought maybe we could do them in a little bit of white. What do you guys think? So I have just, I don't have white in front of me, so let's use a little bit of gesso because you know what? Why not? Gesso always works. So let's take another little foam brush since we have like a million of them over here, and we'll get this guy going just a little bit. Okay, just like that. Ooh, love that. Hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, I love it. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Is this dry? Not quite yet. Okay, this we need to put a little bit more color. So we'll wait for that, right? We'll definitely do a little bit more color. I'm thinking almost we need we need to do a little bit of color right here. So let's do um, maybe a little bit of red, even though I kind of wanted to use it for the next one, but that's okay. We'll do a little bit of the red. And I think it'll just, ooh, it's not red. What is this? Oh, it says dash of red. It's very pinky. I think it's because I had white on here, which is actually totally fine. It's actually quite pretty. I'm actually digging it. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yes, baby. So awesomeness. Look at that. Love it. Don't you love mistakes? This is the beauty of mixed media. Honestly, 
You can never make a mistake. You just continue to create and be free with it. Because if you're not free, it ain't art journaling. Fun. Is this not like the funnest thing you've done today? You better be following along, people. Okay, so this I think I'm kind of done with. I think we're going to put that away for a second. We're going to put that on the ground. Okay. And now uh, the next thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to close that lid if I can find it. Here it is. Let's give this guy a very, very quick heat set. Okay. Just to make sure it's really nice and dry. Premium masks are awesome. Do we have any questions, you guys? Any questions? Okay. I don't know. That's pretty dry to me. I, I think it's dry. What do you guys think? It's dry, right? Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to pull out my favorite stencil, which I have not used, but apparently now has a really nice shade of yellow. And I'm going to pull this off. This one, again, was called, oh, now that I've ripped the number, TCW 405 Four Feathers, I think it said. Okay. All right. Stencil on the ground, stencil on the ground. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a feather work. I love feather work. Now this guy, so I just want to show you, by the way. Do you guys see there's two solids? Right. Let me sh let me show you again on the black packaging because I think it'll be whoa, it'll be a little bit easier to see. But I just want to show you something. What's really cool is that these are kind of like two step, where these two are the solid ones, and then these guys go over top of it. Okay. So I'm going to show you how fun this is. So we're going to start about down here because I want to make sure that I kind of have room for my little saying right here. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe I'm going to put it on this page, but I still want to have some feathers coming out. So we'll start right here. Let's do this feather about right here. Okay. And I'm going to do it in, what am I going to do it in? I'm going to, I have to, it has to be a little bit bright to some extent, right? So this is crimson. Yeah. I think a red would be kind of fun. Oh, if I can open it and we're going to go ahead and apply this right here beside me. And I'm going to take another foam brush. And of course, now I can't find them. Oh, they're all the way behind there. Too far. Okay. And I'm actually going to have them be a little bit two-tone. Not, not all totally red. Okay, so we're going to start. Oh, this has like a really hard tip. Can you guys hear the tap, tap, tap? Oh, what's up with that? Make sure you don't get underneath the stencil. Sometimes if the color underneath that I've painted on is a little bit too dark, what I do is I do this with gesso first and then I put the color over the top. But you'll kind of you'll kind of see, you'll kind of experiment yourself and see what works and what doesn't work for you. Okay. And then what I'm doing is I'm kind of fading it out a little bit right here and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to go in with my second color which is um, an orange. And I'm going to do this bright orange. I almost have nothing left. It's called bright orange, actually. Okay, and I'm just going to apply it. Whoa! Well, now I definitely have nothing left. Just saying. Okay. And I'm going to kind of blend those two colors together first by doing that. Okay. A little bit of blendage going on. Do you see that? And just like that. A little bit of orange and then last but not least what I like to do is I'd like to take um, the yellow and not the same yellow I used earlier I'll use this yellow right here but I'm trying not to move this stencil it's really hard to open and let's just take my fingers because you know what my fingers rock they just do just going to have that blend right there. I 
creates a really fun texture too. But now I really need a cloth. And where did my cloth go? Is it right behind me? Where'd it go? It was right behind me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lift. just want to show you. That's really fun, right? Look how gorgeous that is. Do you guys see that? Don't you guys love that? It's so pretty, right? I think it's gorgeous. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe some of the edges right here. So give me one second, just so that when I apply it down right now, it's not going to get everywhere. And I'm going to move this over. I'm using, uh, I used Yellow Pastel by Studio Paint. I used, um, this is Galleria Windsor Newton Crimson. And I used, um, what was the other thing I used? Oh, the orange was Americana Bright Orange. Okay. So now I'm going to move this over just a tad. And then I'm going to have this kind of come, it's kind of going the same way, which I really don't want it to be. Maybe I'll do this one. I like this one because it's a little bit different. So let's do this one right there. Okay. And so we're going to start with actually the red on the top this time. Okay. Just to be a little bit different. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of orange. Yeah, you guys, I can't always see the chat, so if I don't answer, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, that's why the admins are there. They'll answer all your questions. If not, they can text me. They know my number, and I will have those answers, those questions answered as fast as I can. Sometimes while I'm creating, it's kind of hard. You know what I mean, but I try. And then left. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Oh, I love that. So let's give this a quick heat set so that we can go on to the second step of this stencil. Okay. Do we have any questions right now? Because this is the perfect time for me to answer them. Questions, anyone? Questions? Prima is flying off the shelves, isn't it? They do, they have them in the six by six too. So the next thing, it's it's fairly dry. It's not like perfectly dry, but that's okay. Oh, I, and I forgot the actual black. Let me go grab my black because we definitely need that for the next step. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to take my black um, acrylic paint and for this one, we're going to go right over here, okay? This isn't going to be easy, but somewhere around there, it kind of fits, okay? Just like so. Something like that. And then I'm going to apply some black right here to my mat. Is this dried out? Please say no. No, there we go. Oh, the bottom just opened up. Okay, this is what you get with artist paints, okay? And I'm going to take my same brush, even though it has a little bit of red. I think it'll be okay. And I'm going to apply the black right over the top. This is where you kind of have to be careful so that um, it doesn't get underneath the stencil, just so we know. Okay. This is just too much fun, isn't it, you guys? Who's creating along with me tonight? Anyone? Holy moly, there's a lot of viewers on tonight. It's 
awesome. I love it. I love it. Okay, just like that. And then that's good enough. And then I'm going to lift. Look at that. Is that not hotness or what? Hotness. Hotness, I tell ya. I love it. Okay, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on this guy. Don't you guys love this? I don't know, but I think I'm like in love with the stencil. And I'm going to try to line it up as much as I possibly can. I know it technically has a certain way of sitting. I just haven't quite figured out where. I think it's about right there. I don't really want to get it too wrong, but I don't know. Close enough. Close enough, I say. Something like that. I don't think it's supposed to be perfectly lined up. I'm just grabbing some black paint. Hang on. Not supposed to be perfectly lined up, but I think somewhat. So anyway, good enough for me. It's mixed media. There's no mistakes, right? That's what I say. That's what I say, Vern. Which knife? Okay, good enough, I think. Ooh, love it! Is this not amazing? Oh my gosh, I just, I don't know, I'm just like so in love with this right now. I almost want to do a hundred more feathers, but I almost want smaller feathers too. They're just so. They're so yummy. They're so yummy. So anyway, that's the feather stencil, which I love. Um, and uh, I'm just going to wipe my hands. Hang on one second, you guys, because my hands are just filthy at the moment. I can't touch anything. So hang on. All right. We're going to go ahead and give this a quick heat set. Okay, just like that. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to add like a little bit of dimension. So um, in order to do that, I'm just going to take, um, this is Liquitex Extra Fluid Ink. Oh, and sometimes it gets really hard. Oh, I better close some of these inks before they dry up. Always close your inks. Sometimes I'm really bad and I don't close them and then I'm upset because my paints dry out. So um, look it. I just got gesso all over that paint. This is how your paints get all yucky. It's because you set them everywhere. I mean, I set them everywhere. That's what I meant, not you. You as an I. Oh, this is wet. I just washed this. So we're going to grab this paint right here. Watch your com computer screens when you're doing this technique. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flick. Oh, and I'm wearing a white sweater. Can you tell? Look at, see? Mm -hmm. Oh, I am. I know. You guys think I'm nutso. But it's my painting sweater. At least it is now. Anyway, if it wasn't before, it certainly is now. Okay. Can you guys see that? Oh my God, it's all over me at the moment. <laughs> okay. Let's wipe myself off. One more. One more baby wipe. And let me just pull it on the camera. Put, the, put it up on the camera so you guys can see. See the funky splatter marks? Lovely, right? Okay, so let's dry these up so that we can do the title.
Exactly, it's my new art journal sweater. If it wasn't before, it certainly is now. All right, the next thing that we'd like to do is the title. So I really like this um, saying, and I'm thinking I kind of want to split it up a little bit. So I'm going to do find, maybe find, should we do find a reason to smile or find a, should we do find a reason to smile? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Find a reason and then to smile. We'll put it here. All right, let's do that. And I'd like to do that with black because I think it'll turn out the best. So I'm going to put a little bit of black right here and it's coming out of the bottom. I know you guys can't even see that, but it's hilarious. This is what happens with these stupid things. Look at this. It's all over my fingers now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to take this guy. And we're going to go, can you guys see? All right. And we're going to go find. Okay. And then we'll do the A. And then we'll do reason. To be honest with you, this page kind of makes me smile. I really do love it. Okay, and then left. Find a reason. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this page. You know when you just love something? reason to two and then we'll do smile and you can cut these out of your silhouettes or crickets or whatever you have these little things even a big shot really like you could just create anything really Ta-da! What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I love it. I just love this page. I think it turned out so cool. Um, and then I just go ahead and you know what? You can totally keep adding to this page. Like I could, you know, add gelatos to this side. It's like we could do that. I just don't want it too dark. I kind of really like that. Um, I'm trying to find my black gelato. Hang on, it just went somewhere. It escaped from my vision. I can't find it. It's, oh, here it is. It's hiding. Sorry about that. But, you know, we could even do red, right, which would be really, really fun, actually. Do a little bit of red right there just to add to the redness and just rub a little bit. By the way, next week I will be doing the, um, the uh, gelato um, kit that you guys, uh, for those of you that purchased, we're going to be doing that show. Okay, just so you know. Okay, just a little bit of red. We don't need too much. I don't, I really don't want too much red. Just wanted a tiny bit. I thought it'd be a little bit fun. I don't want to ruin this page. I like it kind of the way it is. But just a little bit of red is okay. And then maybe a little bit of black, and then we're kind of done. Just, oh, this is, oh, this is almost done. Wow, this is... Mm -hmm. just like that maybe on the edges here just a little bit just to give it a little bit more shadow okay. just on the sides just a tiny bit and then maybe up here don't you love how gelatos just like rub so beautifully I love it I love it okay that's good enough I'm not doing any more I don't want to ruin this page love it Wonderful. All right, perfect. Let's, should we do one more? You guys gotta tell me, do you guys wanna do one more page? It's still early, we can still get it done. You tell me and I'll do one more. Should we do it? 
I'm just cleaning my hands because at the moment there's ink everywhere. So give me a second. I'm just tidying up just a tiny bit here. Okay. Yes, one more. Okay, then let's give this a very quick heat set. All right, let's do one more. <laughs> well, if Alda said please, then I guess. I guess. All right, should we do it on this page? No, let's leave that page for later. I'd like to do it on a brand new page. How does that sound? That sounds fabulously more. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'd like to do then is I'm going to bring back my jelly plate, okay? That's my mom texting me in the middle of my show. Not good. Not good. i got to tell her where my shows are so she's not texting me in the middle of them. She just wants to find out how my little Ava is probably. Okay. So I'm just wiping some of this off because I just don't want it to get everywhere. And one of the things that you can do when you're done with a jelly plate is you can just go ahead and use a baby wipe and all the excess comes right off. And one of the things you could do if you really liked what's on there still, you could go ahead and reactivate it, reactivate it by just applying just a little bit of um, water, by spraying a little bit of water on it. But I just go ahead and use a baby wipe because it's really easy to wipe off. Okay. And just like that. Just like that. You don't need to worry about drying it because you're applying more paint to it anyway. Okay. All right, next. Let's use some more colors, shall we? Okay, so I'm thinking we'll use, um, oh yes, you know what? Let's do the, uh, what I was gonna show you. This is the Industrial Chic set by, who, who did this set? Who designed this set? Let me think here. Oh yeah, I did. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm just being silly tonight. Okay, this is the Magicals um, from my uh, Industrial Chic set. And I wanna show you how you can use your Magicals on the jelly plate, okay? So I'm gonna pull all these out, just like that, just like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take acrylic gloss medium, okay? And yuck, there's like gunkiness on this thing, that is disgusting. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit right here, just like that. I'm gonna pour a little bit right here, just like that bunch of little piles okay maybe let's do just three little piles and then let's do um let's do i don't know which one eat, eat any of them really let's do a uh, shabby turbine teal for fun look it looks great doesn't it but you just wait it's like magic it's like magic occurring in front of your eyes and then we're going to apply that right there okay so that is shabby turnbine teal. And then we're going to do steampunk sepia. And we're gonna apply that. Start small, because this is very concentrated stuff, right? Remember that. This is the sepia. And then let's do the rusty lantern lime. Okay, just like that, and we'll apply that right there. That's what I do with that, okay? And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to take my little knifey, my knifey knife knife, and then I mix them all about. I do the hokey pokey. Okay, just like this. And I know with uh, this acrylic medium, oh, I should have shaken it a little bit. That's It's very runny right now. That's all right. Say la vie. Say la vie. Mix it up really, really well. I know on camera the color is not quite bright, but that's okay. Close enough. Okay. And, oh, I found my um, I found my cloth underneath everything. And then this guy is the. Let's move him over a little bit so it doesn't get contaminated. And we'll mix him up a little bit. And this is the sepia, I think I said. Okay. It's very runny quite what I had in mind, but that's okay. 
think a little bit of that teal got in here because it's turning a little bit of a different color, but that's all right. Okay, just like so. And then here's the green, which you'll see with each medium, it always turns a little bit of a different color, which I love because you can always change it up with whatever color you use, right? Just so much fun. So much fun. All right, so now what I'd like to do is I want to go ahead and take this guy and start applying it on my jelly plate, just like I did with all my other paints, right? Just like so. And then take a little bit of this guy. We may need a little bit more, we'll see. All these guys are going to mix together anyway. This is going to be a little bit of a dark page, I think. I have this oh so funny feeling. Just totally fine. And I don't want them to mix too, too much, but what I am going to do is I'm going to very lightly mix them, okay? I'm going to be quite careful, but look already how beautiful that is. Okay, just like that. This is with Magicals, right? And they're so shiny. It's so beautiful. And you'll find that they'll, um, they almost bead right away. So you'll almost have to use your page like right away. And so before I use the, um, I, I don't want to use anything on here actually quite yet. So we're just going to go ahead. Whoops. Sorry. I knocked the camera over. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and apply this right down. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to get it right on there. I didn't apply anything yet. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to lift. Oh my gosh, gorgeousness. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to take my second impression. And you know what you can always do? Is you could actually put this down. And you could flip this over. And you could just literally apply it right to your page. Okay. Just like that. Oh, I love it. It looks so pretty. And then you can go ahead and lift. Oh, stunning. Love it. Love, love, love. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let me go ahead and take this baby wipe over here and wipe this up. Just before I put my... By the way, when you're doing um, anything with jelly plates, please go ahead and get yourself an entire case of baby wipes. Because you'll need them. Just saying. Just saying. You really will. You'll really need them. And if you have some left over on here, you can also go on here. Look how much fun that is. It's not fun. You can even take this guy and do a little bit more rolling if you really felt like it. It's pretty dry. That's something you'll notice about the jelly plate is that as soon as you kind of put it on your paper, things get dry very, very quickly. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe all this black stuff that got on my and then I am going to give it a very quick heat set anyway, just for fun. Any questions, anyone? Hello, hello. Just drying this up really quick. Okay. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to bring my jelly plate back. So I'm going to move this over for just a moment. Okay, and I actually like to put it on the floor. And then I'm going to bring my jelly plate back. 
and I am going to give it a very quick clean because I don't want those colors to be on there at the moment, right? But because we have some teals on there already, then I guess tonight we're sticking in the teal tones, which is fine, right? You guys like teal as much as I do. I know. I know because I know how many of you bought that set. <laughs> I really do. Okay, so we're going to use a little bit of sea aqua. Okay, not too much. And then I'm thinking we'll do a pistachio mint by Americana. And then let's do, um, I don't know. I don't know what color should we use. Um, should we use, no, I don't want to use anything too, too dark. I was just thinking maybe this, did I do just pistachio mint? I did. So maybe, um, do I want to do a red? No, I don't. Maybe let's use again. This, oh, I know which color I want to use. Let's use a little bit of permanent magenta because that'll be really fun on there. Okay, just like that. And now I can't find my, oh, here we go. Here we go, baby. Let's get the party started. Check this out. Oh, ho, ho. gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And you can do this as much as you want to get whatever look you want, right? You can continue. So one of the things about the jelly plate that I kind of love, and I want to add a little bit more of this. I'm going to add a little bit more of the Bahama on here. Just, like that. Just because I want the blue to be a little bit more prominent. Ooh, look at that. And maybe a little bit more of this guy. Yeah, baby. Just like that. Perfect. I love that. Love, love, love that look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my extra sheet and I'm just going to roll that off. Okay, just like that. And one of the things that I want to do is I really don't want a solid print on the page that I already created, right? So what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the this guy. I want this guy now. I really like this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and apply him down. Okay. And give him a really cool impression. Be so cool. And just like that. Okay. And that's what I want to do with this guy, but I don't really want that first impression, so I'm going to take another sheet of paper and I'm going to apply that just like that. Okay. And so this is what you get in the first impression, which is absolutely gorgeous. You could do a, a beautiful art journal page with this, but I'm not going to use it just quite yet, right? But I really want this part to, sh to, and I don't, I think it's almost still a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and apply another sheet over the top and take some of it off, just like that. And this is what I want. But look at this impression. It keeps getting even better and better, right? Every time. So now what I want to do is I want to take my page, one of my solid pages. I'm going to apply it just like so. I'm going to apply it down and really press. And you really want to get really nice and um, intimate with this uh, paper. Like just really rub it so that it really gets on there. I always love the second impression much better and even the third, which is the impression that I'm getting right now. But I want you to see, look how cool that is, right? Lots of texture, lots of fun. I'm not sure we'll get much more, but... I really want to, I certainly want to try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little bit of water, but my water bottle seemed to have, oh, here it is. It's right in front of my face. I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of water and I'm going to see if I can get it reactivated a little bit. And then I'm going to reapply the second page right over top of it and see what an impression I get. Just like that. And then ta-da. Oh yeah, baby. Isn't that cool, you guys? So um, 
you can continue, you know, creating lots of fun little patterns, but I just, you know, you can kind of get the gist of it, right? But then one of the things is that we have some paint left over here, right? So I can actually go ahead and even apply this right onto my page. I love these plates, Alda, honestly. If there's any more patterns, I think I want to get them because I think I love them. You can get glycerin at, at your uh, local pharmacy. I know that because I have to give Ava enemas every once in a while due to her bowel issues. I know it sounds awful. She'll kill me if she, when she's older, if she heard this. Isn't this cool? Can you see the pattern? Really funky, right, you guys? Really funky, funky. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a very quick heat set so that it's nice and dry so that we can go ahead and add some fun stuff to it. <laughs> Aldo, you're so cute. Are you guys enjoying this tonight? I hope so. I hope so. All right, just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and maybe grab uh, some different stencils than we used previously. So give me a second. Ooh, you know what, you guys? These are so much fun to play with. These are really, really fun. This is another feather one. I don't know if I'm into feathers today. This one's called Single Feather Bits. These are really fun. They're kind of little masks. So since we're into feathers today, let's just continue that trend, okay? Should we do black feathers? I think so. Or white. Ooh, white would be really fun too. Hmm, should we do black or white? Black. I think I'm into black today. And what I love about it is that um, you can, ooh, it moves. Okay, you gotta be really careful because these little puppies move very, very easily, okay, off the page. So you're gonna get some weird impression if you're not very careful. saying <gasps> look at that oh yes baby and then we're gonna just overlap them almost hold it down as you do it so that it doesn't go crazy because it does lift very easily Ta-da. Oh, gorgeousness. Hello. So gorgeous. And I actually want a little bit of um, this color in there as well. So I'm going to add a little bit of that as well, which I really love. And we're going to have some of them almost overlap a little bit and have a little bit of fun with this. So I'm going to take a second brush. This brush will work too. And then we'll just add. And I kind of want it to mix with the black. Okay, which is why I didn't dry it. And I really love that super fun look. And then we're going to lift if we can. It's, it's like stuck now. Come on, baby, come on. Hoo hoo hoo. Fun, fun, fun. And then one right here. This one's going to be more purple. I have no idea what I'm doing, you guys. I'm literally just playing. So if it turns out like garbage, that's okay. I don't mind. I had some fun. Okay, we're going to put one right there. If you're having fun, I'm having fun. And I think you're having fun. All right, just like that. Oh, that's so fun. So, so fun. Whoa, this, this one moved a little bit. Ipsies. Ipsies. 
just like that. Funky, funky. I love it. And then what you can do, what's really, really fun, is that you can take it and almost um, turn it around. And then you get that negative impression, which is really, really fun too. Okay, so this is really fun. But it's a little bit too dark for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, keep, and do this. Okay. Just like so. It's a little bit too much for me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of my gesso. Love my gesso. Whenever in doubt, use a little bit of gesso and I'm just going to take my knife. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to literally run some of these guys across. Okay. Cause I'm not like super fan of them, but this will create really fun texture. And then I can still go ahead and put a title and do even a little bit more, um, even apply a little bit more stencils, but this just gives it really fun, fun texture. This is how you play with our journal and you guys, you make a mistake. You just, you know, add something else, a little bit more gesso, a little bit more fun. Isn't this fun? I actually like this. Now I do at least. What's the question? Okay, just like that. Fabulous. Now I want to give this a very quick heat set. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually find a heart stencil, which I will do right now, just a second, if I have one. create one from scratch, which is just fine. I'll just draw a heart. No big deal. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do it with a little bit of black. Okay. And so I'm just going to literally draw a heart with my fingers, which didn't turn out too, too bad. I really like that. Just like that. Love it. And I'm just going to kind of paint it a little bit inside, almost make it gray, and a little bit of that purple and white, and it just kind of mixes a little bit. And we'll add a little bit of white in there, just makes it a little bit more gray. creates a little bit of that sh fun little shading. I'm having so much fun. Okay. Can you guys see that? So, so fun. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Here's my lovely heart. I need to add a little bit of that purple in there to give it a little bit of a purple heart. Magenta. Cool, huh? Kind of fun. Fun, fun, fun little heart. And then what I like to do 
is I kind of like to take my favorite stencil and let's create some fun little white circles on there with my dirty fingers. Just like that. You can add a little bit of that purple. And I think it gives it a little bit of funness. Is that even a word? <laughs> Isn't that fun? I'm kind of liking that. And then I was thinking maybe, uh, maybe a couple of them right down here. And it covers some of that ugly feather that kind of turned out. Okay. Just like that. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to take um, my baby wipe and first clean my finger before I do anything else. Oi, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, mm -hmm. except I'm going to get my finger dirty in just a second. And then, then I'm going to take my black and then kind of going around the circle. And what it does is gives it a little bit of shading. Okay. Just like that. Not too much. What do you guys think? Fun, right? But then I really kind of want it to stand out a little bit more, right? So I want to go ahead and dry this. So you want to go ahead and give this a nice dry. And this is where you're start, you'll start to need a little bit of some art journals, art journal pens and such. But I really want this to pop, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take, I love these pens. These are uh, Liquitex paint markers. Okay. This one's brand new. I haven't used this one yet. Shake, shake, shake. And then let's just get the tip going. And they're acrylic. Yeah, they're acrylic markers. Just a second. It's coming. It's coming. Just prepping it. I haven't used it yet. This is the first time. I'm hoping this is the right color that I want to use. It might not be. It might be this color that I want to use. So let me just try it. No, this is a little bit too dark, which is fine. So let's do it with this color. This color is, uh, oh, look, it's a teal. Uh, it's bright, bright aqua green, so we'll see. Just prepping them. Aw, I'm glad my show lifted your spirits. That's kind of the whole point of this. Okay, this one's a little bit better. And then what I want to do is I'm going to go a ha around my circle, my very imperfect circle. Like you want to do this very imperfectly. Okay. This is why I kind of like these acrylic pens because they really work beautifully on your art journal pages. Okay. It's like take like, you know, acrylic paint and then, you know, put it in marker form. Like, hello, can't get better than that. Right. And then I want to do the exact same thing and very imperfectly do it to my heart. Okay. And can you guys see how it starts to pop a little bit, right? And it's not so like in your face so much anymore. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to take a little bit of that white and almost create a little bit of fun shading on my heart. Just like that. Isn't that fun? Okay. Now I want to take a little bit of my darker shade of teal and add a second tone and almost like create little, little wispies around it. Almost like, you know, the heart's like popping or something like it's electric. My electric heart. Kind of the same thing with the circles, but not too, too much. The heart's really the circle one. It's jumping and it's fun. Okay. It's electric. It's electrifying. Just like that. Do you see how much fun that is? 
right? As soon as you start adding the pens, the page kind of starts to come alive a little bit more. And so that's what these, these are awesome Liquitex paints. And I just get them at an art supply store, okay? And then what I want to do next is I want to go ahead and add a little bit of a title and such. But before I do that, I do want to add a little bit uh, more texture to this page. So I'm going to take that same stencil that I had used earlier, this guy, and I'm going to uh, use this a little bit for it. And um, I want to take some of that teal, so this sea aqua. Okay. And with my fingers, I'm just going to go right in there. trying to salvage this page that's what I'm trying to do oh that's so cool that's so much better sorry I was a little bit offering when my camera moved it screwed me up okay just like that just maybe a little bit down here as well okay perfect I kind of like that a little bit better Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a little bit of texture, which makes a big, big difference sometimes. And then maybe let's take um, let's take these guys as well. And you know what? We could probably uh, put a little bit of that pink, which I believe was, I think it was this one that we had used that was more pink than anything else. So let's try that again. Isn't it? Yeah, it was. I really like that pink. I think it kind of goes with this page. Oh, gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Totally. It totally does go. I love it. Gorgeousness. Fabulous. I'm, I'm actually going to move this so that I can actually see this. How are we doing, everybody? We're almost done. I know we're losing viewers now. People are going to bed. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? Starting to come together. And you know what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a little bit of those circles right here. Just a little bit. And I think it gives the heart a little bit of funness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't you love that? Cool. Very, very cool. And then we'd like to use maybe some of those coffee stains. So I'm thinking um, we need a little bit more black. So let's squeeze a little bit more black from the wrong end, from the bum. The bum end of the, um, of the tube. Too many things sitting right there. worked. Fabulous. Look at that. Gorgeousness, right? Gorgeous. And then we'll just maybe put one right there. Do you notice how a mistake can quickly be fixed with a little bit of gesso and a little bit of imagination? right? I'm actually loving this page now and I was kind of hating it before. So it's just kind of the way it goes. And I find that it's like a, it's like, um, a process when I'm art journaling, sometimes I really get mad at myself and you know, it's almost like, it's almost like life. Like you make these, you know, you make these choices in life and then you got to deal with the consequences. And I kind of find like, that's what art journaling is about is you, you know, you make a choice and you use something and then you're like, oh my God, I hate it. But, you know, there's nothing you can do. You can just, you know, continue to create. You're not going to stop just because you don't like the page. You're just going to continue, right? And that's just the way life works. So really fun, right, you guys? And, you know, you could write something else on here. So I'm just going to grab a different one. So hang on, let's see another one that I have. Um, how about this one? This is kind of appropriate. This one says spread the love. What do you guys think? Do you like spread the love? We should do it in like red. Let's do it in red. 
bright red. Spread the love. That's the, look at my hands. Oh my goodness, seriously. I feel like I have gesso on my phone. Like that's how bad it is. Let's do spread and then the love here. Let's do spread and then we'll be done. How does that sound? Are you guys cool with that? What's so funny? That I have a thing on my phone. Oh my goodness. What a mess I'm making. All right, spread. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. We'll need to make sure that it pops up a little bit more and we'll do that with a little bit of white. Spread the Spread the love, baby. Spread the love. All right. Look at that. So cool. But in order for it to really stand out, you guys, and I know you're probably thinking this, well, but, you know, you can't really see it. No problem. Just go ahead and give it a nice little heat set. Keep my hand too, since I have so much ink. And now, You can actually go ahead and take like a white acrylic paint, paint pen, I should say, and you can go around the edges, okay? And I'm not gonna do this um, all tonight because I'm gonna bore you to death doing this um, all. Like you, can you guys see that, how it pops a little bit? I know it's kind of hard to see on camera. You don't have to do the whole thing. Um, you can do just some parts of it and you'll find that they'll really pop, see, just like that in the circle and you can even take some black you can see that it actually pops it's just really hard to see on camera at the moment and then you could do the same thing and take a little bit of black and then it'll really pop so you could take like your uh, let's see where's my black this is my black like you could take this guy right your pen and almost give it another spread the love And then it really just starts to pop. Really cool, right? So that's it for tonight, y'all, because it's like 827. I'm losing viewers. I don't want to bore you to death. So let me just switch the... Uh, so for those of you that joined me tonight um, that for the recording, thank you so much for coming. And I shall see you next time. Don't forget to tune in next Tuesday. Um, and for those of you that are staying behind, just give me a second and I will stop the recording.